Alright gang, Ian Anderson, Ben Baker, Central Coast Disc Golf. We are back for some more Mid-America Open. We have a fantastic lead card, Ben. Yeah, George Smith, Cam Todd, Ron Converse, and Coda Hatfield. Alright, what, what course are we on today? We're at Indian Hills, one of the most wooded courses you're ever going to see, probably. First couple holes might not look so bad, but we're just getting started. Alright, you can see the drone flying very slowly through all those trees. Yeah, also maybe the most <laughs> difficult hole the drone. Uh, yeah, of course don't blame him. For sure. Uh, George Smith going roller yeah, or Yeah, the top roller. Okay. You figure just about anything George does is also the local route. Wow. Yeah. Sick. That was great. <laughs> we got Cam Todd. I think he's just GBL going for the... MPO winner. Oh, yeah. Uh, and former world champ. And former world champ. That's right. I think he's just trying the air shot. Did catch a branch, but I think he'll have a putt. Nice. And we got Ron Converse. I think Ron's going full roller. It looks like it. Wow, what a cool line. Yeah, really dig it. Maybe stood up a little early, but boy, that's a tough line okay. to hit. And last but not least is Coda. Coda, one of the leaders of the West Side Disc team. Oh, nice. Looks like he's going pure air shot as well. Ah, and also just catches a branch like Cam. Yep. That seems like the, what's going to happen if you go air shot. Oh, uh, no. Mm. <laughs> yeah. And Cam, was he playing super quick out there, man? Uh, yeah, although there's actually a couple quips. I think at least one snuck in here from Ron going, wow, that's the most time I've ever seen you take when he took about five seconds. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah. He is remarkably quick. Oh, Ron coming up just mm. a little bit shorter than that birdie bit. That would have been a good one to start his day. And this is George for a two, right? Uh, yeah. Wow. Yeah, it's strokes on folks, huh? Isn't it? That's a good get. Yeah, I'd say. Man, three three seventy five, and that is wooded. Yeah, I mean, just and again, such a tough line to hit that sky roller just right on the ground. It's one thing to put yeah. a roller down fifty feet in front of you, but to do it over a big tree, landing it maybe a couple hundred feet out there, yeah, it's impressive. It sure is. Uh, we have a bogey cleanup there from Coda, and we Ron will be dropping in a par here. No shame in that though. Nah, not at all. So, uh, believe it or not, this is not going to be one of the hardest holes out there. No. Nope. Nope. All right, man. I, I can't wait to see this course. Oh, it looks beautiful. It's gnarly. Yep. Awesome. Uh, but everybody does lose a stroke to the leader there as George Smith takes the lead. Oh, after a, he had a tie there with Cam. Uh, Coda dropping back a little bit with that bogey. And hole two. What's the pro play here, man? Uh, 450-foot tunnel shot. I mean, it's not oh, a man. tunnel tunnel, but you really don't have much room to play with on the left or right. An OB path and left. Wow, it's a tough one. This is a. This does not look easy. No. But uh, George, one guy who throws destroyer? straight shots really well is George. Uh, not sure on the disc, okay. but he's laying down the roller, and that might have that might have helped. I wasn't sure that was going to hook up. Yeah, it looked like he was cutting for a while there. Uh, Cam going air shot though. If he gets beyond all that stuff, he's great. And yeah, still a little short, but great position to be. Yeah. Understandable on a 450 foot hole here. Yeah. Let's see if Ron can get it there. He definitely smashes. Roller. Laying down the roller as well. Ooh. Don't cut all the stand, time. Come stand on. up. Come on. Come on. Oh, oh, man. Just barely misses. Man, that long grass just didn't want it uh, right. coming over. Yeah. Oh, Coda leaking right and now kicking left. Mm. Still, still some work left to do here. Yeah. Oh, leaks right again. That's going to result in another mo bogey, most likely. Yeah. George, his second. Going with the forehand. It's going to have to be a tight line. That was pretty. That is really nice, yeah. Just a little bit long. He should make that comebacker, though. Yep. As solid as he is on the green. Coda, that's a little short still. Yeah, but I think he's got that. Yeah. Cam with a long look for the two. That'll be an easy three. Ron going to try and save par from like 50 or 60. Oh, come on. And he does. Sick. Ron Con. Dang. Hashtag Ron Con. He's a multiple world champ in the, uh, the age predict brackets, right? Yeah. Uh, Ron actually, I think, could be playing Grandmasters, but he's out here 
at an A tier open lead card. Love it, man. He's got the skills. We just saw him. Skills to pay the bills. Wow. <laughs> he does. What a good three save. Yeah. And that was a three save from George. There is Coda cleaning up the bogey nicely. Yep. And we should have a par here from Cam. <laughs> As advertised, not much time on the putt. Nope, not so much. Him and Germ kind of do the same thing where they, they look down. Oh, yeah. And and they both just look up and putt like almost immediately. It's it's really interesting. I, see. I guess it doesn't give your time I, your eyes to wander. Uh, you know? It's true. It's a good point. Yeah, yeah. But uh, I'm I like I like, I like to stare it down. You know. Mm, yeah, yeah. Intimidated a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Whole three part three. This looks tricky, Ben. Uh, this is very tricky. Um, again, I think you're dealing with OB in the rough to the right. Not entirely sure. Uh -huh. It might just be rough, but one thing's for sure. It's a very tricky line to hit. Yeah, it is. George goes with the Heiser. Oh, that's not a good spot to be. No, but he's cut off Close most enough. of the distance. Yeah. There's a, yeah, very true. a lot to get around on the right side there. Cam with a big Annie route? I think, yeah, just kind of a sky flex shot. It's going to be hard to reach it that way, but Ooh. he's pretty much there. That was I think good. He's about 50 short from there. Okay. Ron looks to be lining up the same shot. That's grown man power right there. That is. What? No, he didn't. Oh, he did. Ron bombs. Uh -huh. <laughs> that had more in it too. So that hit some lettuce. Begs the question: What's more impressive, a fourteen-year-old that can throw four hundred feet, or a sixty-year-old? Man, in this day and age, I'm going with a sixty-year-old man. <laughs> Fourteen-year-olds are crushing these days. I don't know. It's a tough call. Let us know in the <laughs> comments. Is, yeah, I, I agree. That's a that's a fifty-fifty. <laughs> I bet. Good upshot right there, Cam. Looks at for an eternity. And just comes <laughs> yeah. up short. And Ron, get this birdie, Ron. Tough putt from under those branches. Yeah, buddy. But no problem for Ron Converse. What a get. Man, yeah. Strokes on folks. That was. That was big distance and a great line on it, too. Yeah. I mean, because that wasn't just a as the crow flies 400 feet. No. Yeah, he had to shape it yeah. around a bunch of trees, up and over. It's impressive. Solid shot, Ron. Yeah. Uh, Cam cleans up, as does Coda. Looks like George Smith will do the same in a hot second, but they are all losing a stroke to Ron. Mm. And, of course, this will be one of the more open holes on the course. Uh, really? <laughs> just wait till you see. <laughs> right when we get to the middle of this course, you're just going to be like, I'm getting a headache just looking at this hole. <laughs> Too funny, man. Well, we got a tightly packed one, two, three there with a couple 11s and a 12. George leading the gang. Hole four. Hole four. Uh, let's get a good look at this drone here. I think it's off to the left. Oh, yeah. This one plays as a hard dog leg, kind of like a 45 degree angle. Huh. And uh, 441 feet. You got to really pump this out there. Oh, man. That's a that's a long hyzer. Yeah. Let's see if Ron's got it. Playing it real tight. Real tight. Just a little too tight, but he does get through yeah. most of the stuff. He does, yeah. I should be able to get up and down from there. Yeah. With those skills, George Smith. Looks like he might be going back to that video game boss I'm so fond of. Look, oh, my goodness. That was <laughs> that great. That was a crush. So, wow. Still short, but that was a great line. Yeah. Cam Todd, no slouch in the distance department. Definitely not. I want to say he's 03 or 02 world champ. One of those two. I think 01. Was it? Not okay. Sometime around there. Coda. That is smashed. Get some late trees there on the uh, outside? I think he did clip the trees on the right. Probably an obstructed yeah. putt. Okay. Uh, Ron just looking to get up and down, save that par. Nice angle to just take or a hyzer from in. there. Wow, he almost did just throw it in. <laughs> wow. Wow. Hopefully we can save par from there. Got a little tester putt coming up. And this is... I think it's Cam? Co yeah, Cam throwing a roller from out of the woods. Okay. And unfortunately Back finding the other the, woods. That is army golf, man. Uh, yeah, left, right. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And maybe that's Coda? No, this is Cam again. Oh, you're right. Thank you. Back to the forehand <laughs> roller. This, this time, one works, though. Beautifully executed. That'll save a bogey. Oh, Cody got pretty close here. Yeah. Oh, Ooh, 
Good run. Good bid, though. Yeah. It was. George? That was for two, wasn't oh, it? Oh, it was. The deuce was in the circle. Dang. What a drive there. Man, Ron. Solid on the putting green. That is a great par save after he almost threw it in. Yeah. That would have been something. That sure would have. Coda cleans up his par as well. And then Cam will have a bogey. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> It thought about it, didn't it? <laughs> He's mad at that basket right now. He, he is. I kind of saved him, is. though. He was a little weak side there. He, he was. He was. Uh, George with the par there. I'm sure he wanted that, too, though, after that drive. Don't blame him. I'll check out our scores. Yep, Cam slipping back just a little bit. We got a one-stroke separating one, two, and three. And hole five. Where are we going on this one, Ben? Hole five. This one is... Straight shot and all about playing it under the trees. Really kind of plays nicely for a forehand flex. Uh, okay. Pretty hard to sneak under those trees with a backhand. Or you can just smash it up in yeah. the air if you're on. Why not? It's going to work? Uh, okay. It's looking pretty good. Let's see where he's at. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I think in the circle, but a little obstructed. Yeah. That seems to be the more open side of the green, though. You know, if you're kind of like long and right. Yeah couple times yeah oh on this hole specifically yeah 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 if you can get long around these last few trees it looks like there is a window there yeah it looks like george might have a little bit of a low ceiling putt Coda getting creative oh that he is i oh, see i thought he was gonna go with a low overhand this one yeah nice close but that's gonna be a tricky putt. gonna be a tricky putt yeah Let's see what cam's got here throwing a little flex up the middle i like it gotta hold that line oh, oh. Did get knocked down. The yeah, the shape was good. Yeah. Just, just got a little hate there. Mm -hmm. Yep, George with an open putt for the two. Oh, it looked good. It did, didn't it? Ooh, that looked better. Oh, dang. Man, that was... I, there was a lot in his way there. There's a lot. Let's see this one more time. Over the branches and in. That was uh. good. Cam getting crafty. Yep. See how clean this putt is for Ron. Call that a Martha Stewart putt. Ooh. <coughs> Another nice putt right there. Uh, yeah, sneaking it in nice and low. <laughs> Ron knows he got away with that one just a little <laughs> bit. <laughs> Not his best putt, but that's the best result. George coming back for a par save. That was awkward but well executed. Yep. Yeah, really well executed. Had to straddle and... Yeah, kept it on kind of a hyzer despite having to turn it right a little. I think it's a for two for Coda. Yes, sir. Nicely done. Very nice. Good birdie get right there, getting his round going. Yeah. Getting him back to one over on the round, eight down on the event, and we have a tie at the top as Ron gets a birdie. Uh, tied with George. Cam just one back right now. Uh, hole six, what's the plan? Well, let's see this one here. That's right. Kind of a right turn here. And uh, in the middle of this grove of trees. I mean... We going roller? Are we seeing I think forehands? definitely a nice forehand line, but not a lot of forehands in this group. True. I'm just going to see some nice Annie air shots. Tracking beautifully from Ron. Oh, oh. yeah. Very beautifully. If not for the tree, that might have gone in. I know. I was waiting for that Plinko to drop into the, yeah. the money slot. Coda wow. taking the Heiser route. I like how he lined up that back right corner of the tee. Ooh. And very nice. Yeah. It's an open putt, which you're not always going to get on this hole, it looks like. No, definitely not. I think that could be said for just about any hole in this course. It, yeah, this is very true. Oh, okay. There it is. <laughs> it finally comes out of the tree. Well done. For Cam. Yeah. Yeah. Got a clean putt as well, it looks like. George throwing two discs at once. <laughs> Ops for only one. He was thinking about it. Ops two. for only one. Yeah. He, he was. Kick out of there. Oh, that was great, wow, too. Four nice good drives here. Trickle right to it. Definitely. Ah, oh, Cam, you're better than that. Mm. And he knows it. Ron stretching out left. Through the putt. tree? Through the was tree. It? No problem. Wow. Another just nice bird. crafty putt. Mm hmm. 
He is good at that, it turns out. Did he really go to the, the tree? one more time. He totally did. <laughs> Sick. That's clean. That was perfect, too. Yep. Coda, also looking for a bird. Good hit. Mm. And George, very close. But again, a little just, bit. they're not going to make it easy. <laughs> they are not, are they? Wow. Look at that branch. It's like four feet from the pan <laughs> on both sides. Yeah. Oh. Guess you really got to think about your placement, you know? Not, not just getting close, but, you know, what side of the basket and where to be. Well, you know, trees like that will make you good at all sorts of tough putts. Yeah. Yep. Not wrong about that at all. Uh, there are three birds. Cam with a lone par. Our leaders pull away just a little bit, and we're going to play hole seven next. Uh, this one, I believe, just kind of a thread the needle type of shot. 332 up the middle. Again, low hanging branches in play. There are some kind of crafty hyzer lines there. But uh, if you don't do that, you got to keep it really low. Let's see if Ron can do it. Yes, he can. Maybe too low? Uh, just, just a, a little, little yeah. Just yeah. such a demanding line. Coda? Yeah. Uh, yeah, fights are a little low. Yeah, it's a, it's a long look. Yeah. See what George has got for us. Throwing a flex. I think that's what he's going clean? for. Yeah, and he just got over that tree, but not the other one. Mm. Yeah. Cam, an opportunity to get a stroke back here. Looking skinny. Oh, oh come on. Just catches that one limb. <laughs> wow, right on the edge there. Mm. Coda with that long look for two. It's going to turn into a three. Cam, going to float it in. Got a chance. Oh. You draw metal? Uh, I don't think so, but really close. Okay. Yeah, it was. George, a similar look here to Cam. Similar result. Mm. And Ron with the best look for a two. See if we can take the lead here. Oh, man. I know. Uh, man. I, I like his putt, man. Yeah? It's re it's real nice. Nice and floaty. Yeah. Like a floaty spin putt. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. True. It is. George cleans up, as does Coda and Cam and Ron Will. Some say Cam is the originator of the uh, the, the pitch putt. Is that right? Yeah, yeah. There's there's a there's a YouTube video of him and Felberg way back in the day, and uh, they're they're kind of teaching it together. It's really interesting. It sounds like a must watch. I'm gonna have to get back on yeah, YouTube it, after this. Yeah, yeah it's a good, it, it's definitely a good one. Kind of some interesting. You call, I think you call it like the pop putt back in the day. Pop putt. Okay, I like that. Yeah, it, it, it kind of just pops it in the air. Yeah, deal. like the Pringles it's, putt. Yeah. There you go. Once you pop, you can't stop. <laughs> Whole eight. What are we doing? Uh, keeping it low. Lots of branches. Definitely nothing in the way of a hyzer here. Sneaky low forehand, or maybe a nice smooth turnover shot. Ron still has the box. Throwing a hyzer flip. That's not flipping quite enough, but tree assisted at least. Uh, yeah, that should actually give him a long putt. <laughs> oh, it did, didn't it? Yeah. Oh, funny. Looks like we got a thumber here. Here's Coda. the low thumber I like. Kind of the Schwebby style thumber. Yeah. That was great. Yeah, very sneaky. Mm -hmm. George Smith. Get right. Ooh, Ooh sliding right up to it. Great throw. Yeah. Uh, will work. Mr. Todd, that's too low. I think just a little bit. Yeah, a little too much right there. Yeah, we caught a pine cone or something, too. <laughs> yeah, like a pine cone of death. Yeah. Eh, a little bit long, but that'll three most likely. Ron, see if we can spin it in. Spin oh. for the win. Oh, had a chance, had a chance, but caught a little branch action. Coda getting a thumber birdie. Wow, and that's a nice putt too. It was, wasn't it? Really awkward. Having to straddle and reach out to the left and then putt right. Yeah, definitely well done, George, with a nice easy putt after a great drive. Yeah, great drive. And uh, Cam will be coming back for the par. There's a lot of holes like that on this course where you say it's only 259 and it looks a lot easier than it is. You have to hit a very exact line. Uh-huh. Totally agree. 
There's Ron cleaning up his par. It looks like George taking the lead there by a stroke over Ron. Uh, Cam and Coda, they're lurking. Coda, Coda's fighting back in this thing nicely. Yeah. And a hole nine. Hole nine, let's see this one. Okay, yeah. Totally wooded on the left. You got a little opening yeah. here on the right. Um, a very low, slight hyzer line through this teensy gap here, about 300 feet from the tee. And uh, good luck. Man, that's a tiny gap very late in the flight. Agreed, yeah. Good luck, gents. Coda, too flat. Oh, bad kick. Ah, rough kick off that slope into the rough, and that is a rough rough. Oh, man. That's going to be a really hard par. George, over the top here. This work? Uh, kind of. Looks like he caught some branches. Yeah, he At did. At least he's still in the middle of the fairway. This is very true. Ron. Stay clean. Also, opts no. to only throw one disc out of two. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Maybe should have thrown should've both. Throw the purple one. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Cam Todd. Lacing it up the middle. This looks nice. Get a nice skip in there. Oh, it does. Somebody found the um, gap, man. In the circle. Wow. He did find that teensy gap. Yeah, great drive. So Ron's got some work left to do here. Can he get it up there? Um, He's putting. Pretty but good. That's, yeah. Yeah. About circle's edge, maybe a little outside the circle. Okay. Coda going forehand roller. Yeah, I like this play. It makes sense, doesn't it? Yeah. Kind of just finishing yeah. with the slope. And, and hopefully missing more trees that right way. About circle's edge himself. Mm -hmm. George, not an easy look. Gets it pretty close. Yeah, yeah. Probably looking about 25 feet. Mm hmm. Ron for a par save. Oh, weak side another chain one out. of those. Yeah. The second one he's had of those in a little bit there. Oh, Coda leaks high. That's oh, going to bogue. Barely off himself. Oh, Cam Heisering it, it in. Oh, that's a two, isn't it? It is a two. Ooh. Very nice strokes on folks. That it is. Well done. And George drops it in. No chains required on that oh, one. Oh, yeah. Sneaking in weak side. Mm hmm. And a little walk of shame here for the bogeys. Yeah. But, hey, that's a pretty tough hole right there. If you get hit it that is, rough on the left side, you're doomed. Yeah, natural OB over there. It's lurking. Yeah, a lot of natural OB on this one. <laughs> yep. Uh, looks like Ron's slipping back a little bit to a tie with Cam for, uh, for second place. George, two clear. That's all I got for part one, guys. We'll catch you in part two. See you there.